Yes, I think I did. Okay, back to Python here. This nice little script here, four lines, runs very well as we have demonstrated. We have seen that we can run it with PV Python like this. But okay, it works. But where's the output? There's no, there's no output here. If I run paraview minus script equals, I have it right here. So you know what? It's missing to run in batch mode. What does batch mean? It means it does it, its job by itself. What is the output? The output is an image. You want to see the image, right? Well, we, for, we didn't forget. Well, yes, I, I forgot, maybe. So here's the command to, to save screenshot. I told you it wasn't difficult to do Python, right? I mean, and if you don't know the command, <clears throat> you type help and something is gonna come up. So now, with that particular script, if I run PV Python, I have an image called sphere.png right there. It's not a very exciting image, but it's there. I remove it, and now I'll show you, I can run PV batch. And again, I have my image sphere. Okay. Now I can do a lot of things to change that. If I want a bigger image, for example, I would say image resolution equals 1024, 1024, something like this. PV batch. And there's a bigger image. Okay. Now this is on our laptop. How do we go? How do we move this to Pete's Daint? This is how we do it. We need to copy that Python, that Python code to Pete's Daint. So I'm going to do just that. You can copy to your scratch, to your scratch or to your home directory. There we go. Then I go to Daint. There is my foo.py script. The question, the original question is where is PV server? Now, first of all, PV server would only be used if you run a client to attach to it. If you want to run batch only, you run PV batch. All right. In the in the shell script which generates the job for Paraview, we find here for GNU 5.7, we find instructions to load our module, to 
to launch our job. So I'm going to copy this file. And I'm going to call it foo.sh. I guess I should have prepared this example earlier, but I didn't. I apologize for that. Uh, we'll get to this in a minute. So we should do the to run the parameter on today? Yes. Okay, to run this example, we only need about one minute. So I'll just say three, and that should be plenty. There's what we need. We need a number of nodes is one, a number of tasks, which is four, three minutes of runtime. We need to load the constraint GPU the reservation is this course, and there is where we find Paraview. So we load the into GPU. This is the list of all the modules available for the GPU partition of Daint. And yes, indeed, on Pitch Daint, we only have RC3 compiled, but the difference is infinitesimal. So. Uh, we're, not, we're not going to worry about this. Oops. And then at this point, we can do S1, which PV batch foo.py. And then we submit our job like this. And we made an error somewhere. We forgot this line. Copy. And we submit with foo.sh.
There's my job running and my pictures right here, sphere.png. So in, that in the usual directory, you'll find the shell script and the Python code. So you don't have to edit it yourself. You can use those as a template. Yes, question. Yes, of course it is. <clears throat> you need two things. You need a time-aware source. So you need to, in your pipeline, your source of data needs to be able to produce those multiple time steps. And then you replace the save screenshot command by the save animation command. OK? Sorry, what is the version on this? I Like I said earlier, do, those commands are only available if you load the modules. Yeah, I load the right, modules. Um, take, take the example from the. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, you, you do, yeah. So, uh, yeah, PV batch would be available after you load that particular module. Oh, that's, uh, no, that's not okay. Good point. That's not okay at all. Thank you. This should be a small lane. Yeah. Or is it the opposite? That's the correct one. So, okay, so this will run. However, it doesn't call, it doesn't do any coloring. So your exercise is to develop on your laptop a version of the Python script which does the coloring, then you copy that Python script back to date, you run it, and you verify that it has saved an image with the color of the processors around the sphere. And really, that's not difficult. We've seen how to do all of those things. <clears throat> 